Y'all, these kids got me making Korean corn dogs. We got every Taki flavor. We got the hot Cheetos. We got, hold on, what we got? <laughs> we got the jalapenos, Cheeto ones. We got the um, nacho taco ones or whatever. So, yeah. We started by giving them something to do because they was all in my face and shit. So, they with their auntie Tata calling them these cookies or whatever. So the boys got the Spider-Man ones and the girls got the princesses or whatever. We actually seen the Halloween ones in the store after the fact. But I didn't get those ones because it was after the fact. Like, who's doing after the fact ass shit? But anyways, we about to make some Halloween cookie cake thing. Don't say shit about my walls. That came from my black So they chair. finished the cookies and then I had them go somewhere and I called them individually to help me out. These are all the ingredients that we used. I didn't even make the mac and cheese. You want to start by opening your hot dogs and um, washing them off. You want to make sure they 100% beef. I don't know about that pork shit or whatever. You could get turkey ones. I was going to get turkey ones, but I felt like we already had mad flavors going on. So grab the beef ones and call it a day. You want to cut them up evenly as best you can. You could either cut them in half or cut them in threes. Then you want to do the same thing with the cheese. Just cut it in half or cut it in threes depending on how big you're making them. I made, I cut them in threes because we had to make a lot of them. I made eight of each flavor. We didn't use all of the hot dogs, but we used all of the cheese. We definitely could use more of the cheese so that we could put some at the bottom to make them bigger or whatever. But we had the little system going on for cutting the cheese or whatever like that. And then I didn't record me putting them on the sticks or whatever because I didn't have time for that. I was mad busy, but I recorded as much as I could. Now we got my nephew in the building. All right, we making the batter. So we didn't do what they said. We actually made our own stuff. We did a little one, a little two. We put, um, so we had the flour, we had some water, some olive oil. We put a little bit of cheese in there, and then, yeah. Some seasonings. I think, what did I use? Onion powder, garlic powder, and that was about it. I didn't really do too much, but, like, who's leaving their flour or they batter unseasoned? Like, where they do that? Anyways, yeah, so the batter was good. I don't know, um... I wouldn't tell y'all to do what I did because I don't really know what I was doing. I was just doing what I felt made sense. That's what I be doing. And it should be working out. It was good. So, but like probably do it the right way because, you know, it might come out the right way. You know? Yeah. And don't copy me. Like, I don't know why you would be copying me anyway. So, but anyway, so we put it in the wet batter, then some flour, then back into the wet batter. And then we um, fried them in oil. But I didn't record that part. I didn't get a chance to do that. So while it was in the oil, I had everybody crush up the chips or whatever like that. Then we put sour cream on them, except for the taco ones. I had put the little queso dip or whatever. We crunched them in the chips and put, put them in the oven and warm back up. And this is how they came out. Feel me like, mm, they were so good. I didn't eat the taki ones or the hot Cheeto ones because I'm not with none of that hot ass shit. But yeah, the kids loved them. Um, I would definitely make these again, like I said, with some more cheese so that they could be bigger or whatever. Probably try some different flavors. We wanted to do the potato one, but like it was the kids' idea, so I did all the chips that they like or whatever. Like the video, comment if you ever had these before, if you ever made them before, and what flavors y'all want me to do next time. But yeah, this is how they came out, and everybody loved them or whatever like that. She happy as hell. He looking like somebody yoked him the fuck up. We got a cheese pull over here. He over here acting like he ain't never eat shit before. And then we used this Halloween cookie cake that we got from the market or whatever like that. And then we used all of these goodies to, like, make it into some extra Halloween treat or whatever like that. We just put it all together, smashed it all up. Put the marshmallows, put the other cookies and all of this other stuff in together. It ended up looking like this. Threw it in the oven, let the kids run around for a little while. It came out looking crazy, but it was mad fucking good. My nephew wasn't jacking it, even though it came out good. Everybody said the food was good. I didn't get to record that part, but I got him talking shit about my cookie cake. It was good. For real? I don't want no cookie cake. My nephew wasn't jacking it, even though it came out good. Everybody else liked it. I don't know what he talking about. But yeah, then they had ice cream. I don't know. They had strawberry, vanilla, chocolate, whatever flavor. Shut up with their uncles and shit. Word and shout out to Uncle Tyreek. You already know, baby. We love you down here. We miss you so much. We got the candle going crazy. I see you, baby. I love you forever, baby brother. Turn up in heaven with Medina for her birthday. Look at your nephew and your niece, though. 